Okay, today I'm in the forest again because I want to keep building my teepee. And today it's actually really hot, so first I have to drink a sip of water. We expect 33 degrees Celsius today. The problem with this forest here is that there's no water source, so maybe one day I will dig a well or something. Okay, this is the knife that I'm using today again. It's my own design and if you're interested in this knife here, then just check out my website. The link is in the description below. Okay, let's take a look at the teepee. Okay, this is how the teepee looks like. Last time we put some branches onto the teepee and we also started to lay some moss onto it. And today I have to continue laying moss onto the roof and also I have to collect many more of these small twigs. Okay, let's continue start building on this side. Yeah, so it can happen that the moss falls off because we have quite a steep angle here. And later on I have to put some more branches onto the moss so it holds on the roof. Because if there's a little bit of wind, you know. Okay, here I have my small twigs and branches. And they are crucial for the shelter because you really need some fine twigs and stuff them in the big gaps between the branches and this way the moss has a little bit of more friction and it won't fall off so easily. And the problem with these sticks is that if you let them like this the raindrops will fall onto the stick and they will travel along the stick inside of the shelter and then you got a drip onto your face. So it's really important that you don't let anything stick out of the shelter and everything has to be covered with the moss. Okay, today I brought this cottage here and I want to secure my teepee even further because with all of the poles and the sticks it's getting heavier and heavier and this should not be underestimated. So for the initial setup I've used some paracord which is really strong and I think it's going to hold like this but I want to be double secure and I want to use the string to secure the teepee even further. And for me this is really important because, you know, we have some kids in the village, they probably come here to have some fun in the woods. And if they really come here, I want this to be the safest shelter available. So, yeah, I could never forgive myself if a kid dies because the shelter falls down on its head. So, yeah. This is going to be extra secure. And I'm not taking any chances of this TP collapsing. Okay, these sticks here are a little bit too long, so I want to cut them off. I have a lanyard on my saw, 
And once I made a video that lane yards are a safety risk, which is true, and still I have forgotten to take off the lane yard. So now I was taking the saw like this, and this way it's not a hazard anymore. But you can still hang the saw onto a nail or something for storage. So this is a good way how you can still cut with a lane yard on your saw, but in a very safe way. The shelter is starting to look really nice. The only downside is that you probably will get mice in the shelter because they really love the brush and the cover of the moss. So I probably have to install some life traps for the mice. And yeah, mice are really a nuisance because they will first chew on your stuff. Everything that is plastic, they will just destroy and they also make a loud noise in the night so they will drive you crazy once i had a mouse in my barbot camp and in the night it was crawling underneath the bed and it was making so much noise so i didn't sleep the entire night I like it, but the angle here is a little bit steep, so I have to secure it with some sticks. Today we have a little bit of wind. And the moss definitely helps against the wind, but this is not a waterproof shelter. So if it would rain right now, the raindrops would uh, fall onto the moss. And then when the moss is saturated, they will fall through the shelter, inside of the shelter. So to make this really 100% waterproof, you would need a layer of leaves this big. Just throw it on the shelter and then take some sticks again and secure the leaves onto the shelter but right now it's june and i do not have a lot of leaves available because most of them have rot away so i have to wait until the fall and then i have enough of leaves and then i'm going to make the shelter waterproof I'm on the way to collect some moss and look what I have found. Deer bone. I think it's a deer bone, but it also could be something else. These are two pretty sharp tools and I'm sure that I can make a primitive knife out of it. Or maybe I can make an arrow tip or something. Pretty awesome. I'm going to take this with me to the camp.
today I need a good shower. It's starting to look really good. Okay, I'm out of sticks, but this is looking really good. God, it was so much work to make the roof. It took me the entire day. And yeah, making the roof is not taking a long time, but gathering the materials. So, wow. I'm really happy with the TP now. Awesome. Nice and cozy. Inside, I have a couple of holes and I will fix that next time. But actually, it's looking really good. Let's take a look inside. Wow, it's really nice. Now imagine a bed. Cool. Really cool. Awesome. Okay, so I think, I think I'm going to make, yeah, I think two people can sleep in here 
So if one person sleeps here and the other person here, I can make a bed like this. And yeah, I think that all of the shelter is going to be a bed and there's no other room besides the bed. So you can't make a fire in here, of course, because it's too small. So this is just a shelter for sleeping. So the plan is next time I'm going to build a bed and then when I have the bed, I will close the entry somehow. Maybe I make a small roof here and then you will have to crawl out a door maybe. So yeah, I'm not sure how I'm making this, but I will find a solution. Awesome. Okay, so this was part three of building a teepee. I think it looks really awesome now and I really love this shelter. So if you want to see the future videos of building the shelter, make sure that you subscribe to this channel. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for next time.